What is up, guys? Jay the Sting right here again for another Cocktober movie review here on the Cocktober 2014. I'm uh, going to be reviewing a film called Gentleman Broncos today. This is recommended by Shaxter. And another awesome recommendation, man. I'd, I'd never even heard of this movie before. Uh, but I watched it, and I, I got to say, I really, really enjoyed it. I was kind of caught off guard. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but uh, kind of like a quirky indie comedy. Um, this is by the same people that did Napoleon Dynamite and uh, Nacho Libre and uh, some of those other similar films like that. And you can definitely tell watching the film that, uh, you know, about halfway through I went and looked up, uh, you know, who all was in it. And I could definitely see a resemblance to those type movies. But uh, directed by Jared Hess, written by Jared Hess and Jerisha Hess, uh, I believe that's his wife, stars Michael Arangano. Er- Angareno, sorry, uh, <laughs> Jermaine Clement and Mike White. Uh, got a got a great cast in this one as well. Um, let's see who else is in here? Uh, Jennifer Coolidge uh, from. Uh, she's done a lot of stuff. Uh, I know she was in uh, one of the Legally Blonde movies, and uh, Haley Pfeiffer plays uh, one of the lead characters in there, Tabitha. But uh, it's a very, very fucking bizarre movie. It's going to be hard to even explain. But basically, this this young kid, Benjamin, that's Michael Angareno's character. Uh, Benjamin is a uh, young guy, I guess, uh, in high school. And he's a he writes these uh, sci-fi books. And um, he goes on this, uh, it's like a writing, uh, writing camp is what he goes on. Um, and he meets some other people that you know are writers as well and uh that's when he meets his not really a love interest but she kind of has a thing for him but i don't think he really cares for her he never never seems to uh to make a move or anything anyway goes on this this writing retreat and uh he has this story that he's writing called uh oh man it's the uh the spore oh what is it um yeast the yeast something or other it's got yeast in the title the yeast chronicles or some shit and anyway he brings a story along with him and uh the the friends he meets uh the the girl and uh let's see uh hector uh jimenez that was the main guy in uh uh, nacho libre you'll know who i'm talking about very very uh uh unique look on him but uh that, that, that's the friends that he meets and and they both really like his story but the the main guy at this uh uh this writing camp thing is like a big uh, he's a big writer a big sci-fi writer dude just a fucking huge douchebag and it's hilarious because he's always got one of those dumb little bluetooth uh you know the uh, the ear thing that, that that people use, but it's funny because some scenes in the movie, like he's actually talking on his cell phone over here, and he's got his Bluetooth in over here, and he never takes it out. I don't think you know, I saw it in there the entire movie, which which was hilarious. Um, uh, let's see, that's uh, Jermaine Clement plays this guy, Ch- Ch- Chevalier. I'm not sure how you pronounce his his character's name, but uh, huge douchebag. But he's like a uh, you know. A prolific sci-fi fantasy writer and yeah uh but basically uh benjamin turns his story in and jermaine clement steals it writes his own book he just changes the names and that's basically what it's about and benjamin basically just getting fucked over by everybody in the movie and uh that that guy uh that that actor michael Ang- angareno i don't know i'm butchering his name but he he's like He's not nearly as young as he looks, so he's playing like a 17-year-old. He's probably closer to like, you know, um, you know, 25 years old or something like that. But, uh, man, just just great, great movie. Great, you know, if you like quirky stuff like that, uh, you'll definitely enjoy this. I think all the characters really play off each other well. Um, you know, I didn't catch a lot of the references because I'm not a huge, like, sci-fi fantasy uh, uh fiction you know book fan a novel fan or anything you know I, I like movies but i'm not a big fan of uh of those types of books i've just never really read very many but uh yeah it's uh oh, i also have to mention the character of uh oh shit that's got this crazy ass order here on imdb it's uh 
Oh, Sam Sam Rockwell's in this movie. He plays Bronco. That's the main character in Benjamin's story. But uh, I'm trying to find this guy. Mike White plays Dusty, and he is hilarious in the movie. He's got these like long curly hair and just like a cheesy uh, mustache the whole time. He, he does a great job. Uh, just a great movie. Like I said, it's hard for me to kind of explain the whole thing. Uh, lots of elements going on in there. Lots of weird shit, but definitely in the very the the same vein as Napoleon Dynamite, something like that. But I like Napoleon Dynamite. I know a lot of people don't. You know, I think it's become a popular thing to not like stuff like that. But uh, I really enjoyed it. It's really quirky, a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, I'd recommend it to you guys if if you like stuff like that. Uh, you know, if you don't, you, you may think it's stupid or cheesy or whatever. But yeah, this one gets a recommendation. Thanks a lot, man. Jackster, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.